So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about all the times that Kermit the Frog has either been put on display in either a museum or in an exhibit. So, what are we waiting for? Let's talk about it! So, since the beginning of Kermit's creation to current day, there have been multiple different versions of the Kermit the Frog puppet. And throughout the years, as time has went on, Kermit has made some updated changes or modifications. And as the years have continued to go on, Kermit has been updated multiple, multiple times. This also means that the different puppet versions of Kermit that have been used in the past, those puppets have also been retired. And instead of them just randomly sitting on a shelf somewhere, or unfortunately sometimes thrown away or discarded because of wear and tear throughout the years, it's always awesome to see and hear that these Kermit puppets have been restored or were put on display in a museum to live a second life. Kermit the Frog has been put on display at multiple museums throughout the years. One of the first ones being the National Museum of American History. The original Kermit the Frog puppet created by Jim Henson is on display at the National Museum of American History, along with other Muppets, puppets, and marionettes. This Kermit the Frog puppet was created by Jim Henson in 1955 for Salmon Friends. It is the first Kermit puppet, and it's made from Jim Henson's mother's old spring coat and a pair of Jim's blue jeans. Henson used ping pong ball eyes for Kermit's eyes, and Kermit started as a lizard-like character and evolved into a frog later on. A newer version of this Kermit that was a brighter green color began to be used in 1963, when color television became more common. Subtle changes to his collar and feet were made as newer versions of Kermit were created. Jim Henson wanted a puppet that was more capable of expression than those made with harder materials. There is no stuffing in Kermit's head, meaning the puppeteer's hand is the only thing inside. This allows for every subtle movement of the puppeteer's fingers to become a subtle expression and change in Kermit's face. The second place that Kermit has been put on display is the birthplace of Kermit the Frog in Leland, Mississippi. The exhibit also features other memorabilia, including photographs, letters, and a video center. This exhibit was established in August of 1991. The exhibit was a gift to the people of Leland by Jim's wife, Jane Henson. The highlight of the exhibit is a replica Kermit that was donated to the museum for permanent display. Another place is the Jim Henson Foundation. The Jim Henson Foundation has a collection of nearly 50 puppets, including Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Ralph, Big Bird, Cookie Monster, Gobo Fraggle, and Wendell the Porcupine. Another place that Kermit has been put on display is the Detroit Institute of Arts. The Kermit the Frog puppet created by Jim Henson in 1969 is on display at the Detroit Institute of Arts. The newer slash updated version of Kermit has also been featured in the Smithsonian Museum, which is also the National Museum of American History as well. Kermit has also been featured in the Museum of the Moving Image. He's also there along with 50 other puppets, including Miss Piggy, Ralph, Big Bird, Cookie Monster, Gobo Fraggle, and Wendell Porcupine. Also, you can see Kermit on display display at the Traveling Jim Henson exhibit. This exhibit is currently still traveling around the country and at the time I was fortunate enough to see it when it was out in LA at the Skirball Museum. Got to see a bunch of cool Muppet and Sesame Street characters on display. I believe this was back in either 2018, 2019 and when you walk right into the exhibit the first person to greet you is Kermit the Frog. Kermit is also currently on display at the Center for Puppetry Arts Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. From what I've heard to the people that have been, Kermit the Frog is a part of the Center for Puppetry Arts Jim Henson Collection Gallery. This particular Kermit the Frog photo puppet design dates from the mid-1970s and was built by the Jim Henson Company. Now, some of you are probably wondering, what is a photo puppet? A photo puppet is practically a puppet character that is made and designed just like how a regular puppet would be, only you can't operate and puppeteer this guy. He's more of a glorified statue that you can move and pose. A lot of the times these photo puppets are used for what they're called in their name. They're used for photos. Disney or the Jim Henson Company at the time or current want a photo of all the characters together or maybe like a wide shot where you see their feet and their legs and you're like, well, where's the puppeteer? Well, there are the photo puppets. Also, back in 1996 at Disney MGM Studios at Disney World, they had several different Muppet characters from Muppet Treasure Island on display. And of course, leading the charge, kind of like George Washington himself, was the one and only Kermit the Frog dressed in his Captain Smollett uniform from the movie. Also, back in July of 2000, from 2000 to 2001, there was an exhibit called Pirates in Story and History, and they had several different pirate memorabilia, and among the things featured in the exhibit were Tim Curry's hat and a few characters from the film were also on display. Of course, there's Kermit as the famous Captain Smollett and several other Muppet pirate characters from the film as well. Kermit, along with several other Muppets, were also featured in several different window displays at a chain of British department stores called Selfridges back in 1909, 
Like Macy's in the United States, they have become world famous for their unique and ever-changing window displays. Kermit and Piggy appeared in a London window display on December 29th, 1977. In 2004, Kermit the Frog and Robin were featured in a Christmas display at the flagship store on Oxford Street in London as Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim. In 1987, Jim Henson and Michael Frith collaborated with designer Jen Moore to create holiday window displays for the famed New York City jewelry store, Tiffany's. I also discussed in my Muppets Wizard of Oz video, which you can check out, it's probably popping up here on the screen right here, I discussed that Kermit and his Muppet friends were also put on display for Macy's for the promotion of the movie that the Macy's store windows were designed with scenes of photo puppets on display which included Kermit. Also my other video discussing the history of all the times that the Muppets been featured in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade I had also mentioned that Kermit the Frog for several different years was also featured in the Macy's store window display as himself, kind of either riding with Miss Piggy in a stagecoach or in the back of Santa's sleigh, kind of waving at everybody. Just in case I might have missed one, leave me a comment below letting me know what are some other times that you've seen Kermit the Frog be put on display in either a window, a museum, an exhibit, and have you got to visit these exhibits and museums yourself? Hey, thanks so much for watching this awesome puppet related video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please do me a favor and go check out the next one right here on the screen. Carmen and I think you will enjoy it and we'll see you over there. Until next time, take care and well, have an awesome day.